Hello everyone, in this video we will know how to manage hyperlipidemia. First we have to know what is hyperlipidemia. When you eat a lot of fats and junk foods, this will result in too much lipids inside the blood, such as very low density lipoproteins and low density lipoproteins. Over time, these extra fats may accumulate on the wall of the blood vessels leading to atherosclerosis and decrease the blood supply to some organs, as we can see here narrowing of the blood supply. If this narrowing occurred in the coronary arteries, it may increase the risk for heart attacks, while if occurred in the carotid arteries, it may increase the risk for stroke. Heart attacks and stroke may be responsible for more than one-third of the population death nowadays. Ok, let's know what are lipids. Lipids are divided into cholesterol and triglycerides. Cholesterol is divided into low-density lipoproteins, known as bad cholesterol, and high-density lipoproteins, HDL, which known as good cholesterol. LDL is bad because it takes the lipid to the arteries leading to atherosclerosis and cardiovascular diseases. HDL is good cholesterol because it removes the lipid from the blood to the liver to be excreted. Now let's move to how to manage hyperlipidemia. First, diet regulation. The lifestyle modification including healthy eating, weight management, and regular physical activity can control the lipid levels in the blood. Second, using drug therapy. In drug therapy, we have to choose either lowering bad cholesterol, LDL, or lowering triglycerides, or both, depending on the laboratory finding for the patient. In this lecture, we will know two drugs lowering LDL, bad cholesterol, and two drugs lowering triglycerides. The two drugs lowering bad cholesterol LDL are HMG CoA reductase inhibitors such as statins and bile acid binding such as cholestyramine. Statins like simvastatin, it called Zucur in the market, and atrovastatin, which called Lipitor in the market. The mechanism of action of the statin, they inhibit HMG-CoA reductase enzyme. So, they will inhibit the synthesis of cholesterol, decreasing LDL and increasing HDL. The adverse effects for statin are hepatotoxicity and myopathy. Myopathy means muscle weakness. And also statins are contraindicated during pregnancy and lactation. The mechanism of action of cholestyramine, cholestyramine is a bile acid binding, bind with the bile acid to inhibit the absorption of fats, so they decrease the absorption of cholesterol and lowering LDL and also may increase HDL. The adverse effects for cholestyramine is constipation and cholesterol gallstones. Statins and cholestyramine are the two drugs lowering the bad cholesterol or lowering LDL. Let's move to drugs lowering triglycerides, drugs lowering triglycerides such as fibrates and niacin. Fibrates such as clofibrate and bisafibrate working by increasing lipoprotein lipase. So they will decrease the triglycerides and decrease VLDL, very low density lipoproteins. The side effects of fibrates are similar to the side effects of statin. Both will cause myopathy and hepatotoxicity. Also fibrates may lead to GIT upset, gallstones, alopecia, skin rashes and it is contraindicated during pregnancy and lactation. The second drug's lowering triglycerides is niacin, also known as nicotinic acid. 
nicotinic acid lowering triglycerides, free fatty acids, and very low density lipoproteins. The adverse effects for niacin are GIT disturbance, hyperglycemia, and hyperuricemia. Now we finished drugs lowering cholesterol such as statins and bile acid binding and drugs lowering triglycerides such as fibrates and niacin. There are more drugs may help in lowering the lipids in the blood such as Probucol acts as an antioxidant and can decrease cholesterol levels. Thyroxin which is a thyroid hormone and may help in decreasing cholesterol levels. Estrogen, the female sex hormone which decrease LDL levels in the blood. And omega-3, fish oil, also help in lowering triglyceride levels and increasing high density lipoproteins. Finally, the combination therapy for antihyperlipidemics we may use statins with bile acid binding such as cholestyramine to decrease the cholesterol significantly. Also to decrease both cholesterol and triglyceride, we may use a statin with nicotinic acid or fibrates with bile acid binding but never combine fibrates and statin because they will lead to severe liver and muscle damage. Types of hyperlipidemia as we said in the beginning of the video Hyperlipidemia may be classified into elevation of cholesterol only or elevation in triglycerides only or elevation in both cholesterol and triglycerides and this is the end of the anti-hyperlipidemic drugs thank you